at Central Park again, taking a little stroll. I'm going to my friend's place after and she lives really close here. So I'm just here to vibe, to walk. It's really fucking cold. I did wear three layers of pants, so I'm feeling pretty warm. It's just my face that's cold. I'm here to enjoy the sunset, but uh, it seems that the clouds are covering it. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna walk around. Do my little water bottle. Right, let's keep going on our little walk. Oh my god, dog. Hello. Today I'm gonna go to Soho with Gemma to do some shopping. This is my outfit and I have some jeans on. I'm gonna do my lipstick. I hope it's not too cold today. I'm gonna wear this coat that I thrifted four years ago. One of the pockets is broken. What? Wow, 2019 movie ticket. For my bag, I'm gonna wear this tote. Gemma's gift and Kat's gift because I'm dropping by the studio first. Look at how puffy my bag is. <laughs> I'm making thumbprint cookies right now and I took out the butter to put in the microwave so that it softens a little bit and once I take it out, guess what I do? I literally like spill it everywhere. It got on the floor, it got on the stove, it got onto my favorite shirt so then I had to hand wash that and clean everything. We're just gonna ignore this for now, I'll clean it later. I have most of my ingredients prepped so I'm just gonna get started and forget that everything that just happened, happened. I just bought and some yuzu jam. Wow, so pretty. Time for a little taste test. It's a little bit sweet, but I think it would taste really good with tea. Thank you. 
today trying to fix my sleeping schedule the vibe is to fit everything here into this box got ready this is my outfit I literally have on a gray sweatsuit with my yellow sweater and then this coat <sighs> I don't know if you guys can see anything good thing it's not too cold today I am running late because my friend is picking me up I didn't even get to make the breakfast that I planned so I just bought some snacks I have grapes yogurt and half a corn with me I will see you guys at the ceramic studio I got this candle the other day, it's called Eggnog Latte and it's by Mala the brand. It smells, it smells so good. Light her up while I talk about my favorite books of 2022. I read around 40 to 50 books this year probably. I like to read all types of genres. So some of them were fiction. I also read some non-fiction books, but I tend to gravitate towards mostly fiction books because reading to me is like being able to escape. Since I've read a lot of books this year, I don't remember all of them that I read. I especially forget like YA fiction and mystery thrillers, that kind of thing. These eight books are the books that stood out to me. The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. I'm really attracted to beautiful writing, so if any book 
has contains really beautiful writing. I instantly love it. The Island of Sea Woman by Lisa C. I really love this book. Um, I love historical fiction. Sweet Bean Paste by Darian Tsukigawa. This book was really, it felt really melancholic to me. I realized that I'm really attracted to sad books. Uh, there was a letter at the end of this book and it just made me, I read this on the train to Giverny in France and on the, on the train ride, I was just like, <laughs> Hester, a novel by Laurie Lico Albanese. This book is a retelling of Hester from The Scarlet Letter, and I really enjoyed it. Being Lolita, a memoir by Alison Wood. This book is about Alison's experience as being Lolita, as it talks about her relationship with her high school English teacher. There's this quote that stood out to me in the book, so I'm gonna read it out to you. There is a long history of loneliness in literature, of loneliness as a prerequisite to love. Almost like you can't really love someone unless you've been alone and loveless for a long time. At least if you're a woman. Almost as if this protracted alone time is a perfection, prepares a girl to be worthy of a man's love. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I love her books. Um, I feel like I've read most of the books she's written, honestly, because her writing is so beautiful. And I just really enjoyed this one. Earthlings by Sayaka Murata. I've read a few of her books and so far this one is my favorite because it was just so unexpected. Like there's so many trigger warnings in this. It was just, I was, when I read it, I was just like, what the fuck? But I loved it. I picked up this book thinking that it was really cute because there's a hedgehog on the cover. Ah, this is gonna be like a cute little sci-fi book, but it was not. Be prepared. The last book is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. What a fantastic story. That is all I can say. These are my favorite books of 2022. If you guys have any other book recommendations, please let me know. I would love to hear them. Currently, I'm reading Now is Not the Time to Panic by Kevin Wilson, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm going to read that for a bit and then go to sleep.